The Letter of Jeremiah, also known as the Epistle of Jeremiah, is a deuterocanonical book of the Old Testament. This letter purports to have been written by Jeremiah to the Jews who were about to be carried away as captives to Babylon by Nebuchadnezzar. It is included in Catholic Bibles as the final chapter of the Book of Baruch. It is also included in Orthodox Bibles as a standalone book. Some scholars claim that the title of this work is misleading, as they consider it to be neither a letter nor written by the prophet Jeremiah. Author According to the text of the letter, the author is the biblical prophet Jeremiah. The biblical book of Jeremiah already contains the words of a letter sent by Jeremiah, from Jerusalem, to the captives in Babylon. The letter of Jeremiah portrays itself as a similar piece of correspondence. As E. H. Gifford puts it, the fact that Jeremiah had written one such letter to the captives seems to have suggested the idea of dignifying by his name another letter not written in reality till many ages after his death." Against the traditional view, most contemporary scholars agree that the author was not Jeremiah. The chief arguments put forward are literary quality, as well as the religious depth and sensitivity. J. T. Marshall adds that the use of seven generations v. 3 rather than 70 years Jer 29-10 for the duration of the exile points away from Jeremiah towards one who deplored the long exile. The author may have been a Hellenistic Jew who lived in Alexandria, but it is difficult to say with certainty. The earliest manuscripts containing the Epistle of Jeremiah are all in Greek. The earliest Greek fragment 1st century BC was discovered in Qumran. Gifford reports that in his time the great majority of competent and impartial critics," considered Greek to be the original language. As one of these critics O. F. Fritz put it, "...if any one of the apocryphal books was composed in Greek, this certainly was." The strongest dissenter from this majority view was C. J. Ball, who marshaled the most compelling argument for a Hebrew original. However, Yale Semitic scholar C. C. Torrey was not persuaded. If the examination by a scholar of Ball's thoroughness and wide learning can produce nothing better than this, it can be said with little hesitation that the language was probably not Hebrew." Tory's own conclusion was that the work was originally composed in Aramaic. In recent years the tide of opinion has shifted and now the consensus is that the letter was originally composed in Hebrew or Aramaic. Date. Topic. The date of this work is uncertain. Most scholars agree that it is dependent on certain biblical passages, notably Esa 44-9-20, 46-5-7, and thus can be no earlier than 540 BC. Since a fragment 7Q2 was identified among the scrolls in Qumran Cave 7, it can be no later than 100 BC. Further support for this terminus ad quem may be found in a possible reference to the letter in 2 Maccabees 2-1-3. As mentioned above, the use of seven generations rather than 70 years points to a later period. Ball calculates the date to be c. 307-317 BC. And Tedici notes. It is well known that many Jews were attracted to alien cults throughout the Greek period, 300 BC onward, so that the warning in the letter might have been uttered any time during this period. <coughs> Canonicity <coughs> Although the letter is included as a discrete unit in the Septuagint, there is no evidence of it ever having been canonical in the Masoretic tradition. The earliest evidence we have of the question of its canonicity arising in Christian tradition is in the work of Origen of Alexandria, as reported by Eusebius in his church history. Origen listed Lamentations and the letter of Jeremiah as one unit with the book of Jeremiah proper, among the canonical books as the Hebrews have handed them down. 
Though scholars agree that this was surely a slip, Epiphanius of Salamis in his Panarion writes that Jews had in their books the deuterocanonical epistle of Jeremiah and Baruch, both combined with Jeremiah and Lamentations in only one book. Athanasius of Alexandria mentions the same, he includes the deuterocanonical epistle of Jeremiah and Baruch as a part of the Old Testament canon, both combined with Jeremiah and Lamentations in only one book. Cyril of Jerusalem states in his list of canonical books of Jeremiah 1, including Baruch and Lamentations and the Epistle." The Synod of Laodicea 4th century wrote that Jeremiah, and Baruch, the Lamentations, and the Epistle are canonical in only one book. Jerome provided the majority of the translation work for the vulgar popular Latin translation of the Bible, called the Vulgate Bible. In view of the fact that no Hebrew text was available, Jerome refused to consider the Epistle of Jeremiah, as the other books he called apocryphal, canonical, despite Jerome. S reservations the epistle is included as chapter 6 of the book of baruch in the old testament of the vulgate the king james version follows the same practice while placing baruch in the apocrypha section as does luther s bible in the ethiopian orthodox canon it forms part of the rest of jeremiah along with four baruch also known as the paralipomena of jeremiah the Epistle is one of four deuterocanonical books found among the Dead Sea Scrolls see Tanakh at Qumran, the other three are Psalm chapter 151, Sirach, and Tobit. The portion of the Epistle discovered at Qumran was written in Greek. This does not preclude the possibility of the text being based on a prior Hebrew or Aramaic text. However, the only text available to us has dozens of linguistic features available in Greek, but not in Hebrew. This shows that the Greek text is more than a minimalist translation. Topic. Contents Topic. The «letter» is actually a satire, or harangue, against idols and idolatry. Bruce M. Metzger suggests, "...one might perhaps characterize it as an impassioned sermon which is based on a verse from the canonical book of Jeremiah." That verse is Jer 10.11, the only verse in the entire book written in Aramaic. Tell them this. These gods, who did not make the heavens and the earth, will perish from the earth and from under the heavens." The work was written with a serious practical purpose, to instruct the Jews not to worship the gods of the Babylonians, but to worship only the Lord. As Gifford puts it, the writer is evidently making an earnest appeal to persons actually living in the midst of heathenism, and needing to be warned and encouraged against temptations to apostasy. The author warned the Hebrew exiles that they were to remain in captivity for seven generations, and that during that time they would see the worship paid to idols. Readers were extolled not to participate, because the idols were created by men, without the powers of speech, hearing, or self preservation. Then follows a satirical denunciation of the idols. As Gifford explains, in this folly of idolatry, there is no clear logical arrangement of the thought, but the divisions are marked by the recurrence of a refrain, which is apparently intended to give a sort of rhythmical air to the whole composition. The conclusion reiterates the warning to avoid idolatry. Topic notes topic topic references topic topic text editions topic bars, W. 1961. Two Palestinian Syriac texts identified as parts of the Epistle of Jeremy, Vetus Testamentum 11-77-81, Baylet, M. et al., eds. 1962. Les Petites Grotes de Qumran, 143. Discoveries in the Judean Desert 3. Oxford, Clarendon Press. Otto Fridolin Fritz 1871. Libri Apocryphi Veteris Testamenti Greece. F. A. Brockhaus. p. 102. Rolfs, Alfred, ed. 1935. Septuaginta, 2 vols, 2 766 70. Stuttgart, Privilegierte Wurttembergische Bibelangstalt. Henry Barclay Sweet. The Old Testament in Greek according to the Septuagint. University Press. p. 379. Weber, Robert, ed. 1994. Biblia Sacra, Iuxta Vulgatum Versionum, 1262 65. Stuttgart, Deutsche Bibelgesellschaft. Ziegler, Joseph, ed. 1957. Eremias, Baruch, Threna, Epistula Eremiae, 494-504. Göttinger Septuaginta 15. Göttingen, Vandenhoek and Ruprecht. Topic translations with commentary Topic Ball, C. J. Epistle of Jeremy, in the Apocrypha and Pseudepigrapha of the Old Testament, ed. 
R. H. Charles, 2 vols, 1 to 596 minus 611. Oxford, Clarendon Press. Cook, F. C. Ed. 1888. The Holy Bible according to the Authorized Version, A. D. 1611, with an explanatory and critical commentary and a revision of the translation by Elegy of the Anglican Church. Apocrypha. J. Murray. P. 287. Dancy, J. C. 1972. The Shorter Books of the Apocrypha, 197 to 209. The Cambridge Bible Commentary. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. Moore, Carey A. 1977. Daniel, Esther, and Jeremiah, The Editions. The Anchor Bible 44. Garden City, New York, Doubleday. Topic introductions Topic Charles, R. H. 1911. Jeremy, Epistle of, in, Encyclopedia Britannica, 11th ed., 15-325. Thomas Kelly Shane, John Sutherland Black, 1901. Encyclopedia Biblica, a critical dictionary of the literary, political and religious history, the archaeology, geography, and natural history of the Bible. Macmillan. Otto Fridolin Fritz, Carl Ludwig Willibald Grimm 1851. Kurzgefasstes exegetisches Handbuch zu den Apokryphen des Alten Testamentes. Weidmann. p. 205. Otto Kaiser, the 1st of June 2004. The Old Testament Apocrypha, an introduction. Alban Books Limited. ISBN 978-1-56563-693-4. James Hastings, John Alexander Selby, Andrew Bruce Davidson, Samuel Rolls Driver, Henry Barclay Sweet 1899. A Dictionary of the Bible, Dealing with Its Language, Literature, and Contents, Including the Biblical Theology. T. and T. Clark. p. 578. Metzger, Bruce M. 1957. An Introduction to the Apocrypha, 95-98. New York, Oxford University Press. Moore, Carey A. 1992. Jeremiah, Editions 2, in Anchor Bible Dictionary, ed. David Noel Friedman, 6 vols, 3-698-706. New York, Doubleday. Michael E. Stone, 1984. Jewish Writings of the Second Temple Period, Apocrypha, Pseudepigrapha, Qumran, Sectarian Writings, Philo, Josephus. Fortress Press. ISBN 978-0-8006-0603-9. William Oscar Emil Osterley, 1914. The Books of the Apocrypha, Their Origin, Teaching and Contents. Ravel. p. 506. Pfeiffer, Robert H., 1949. History of New Testament Times with an Introduction to the Apocrypha, 426-32. New York, Harper and Brothers. Emil Schurer, 1896. A History of the Jewish People in the Time of Jesus Christ. T. and T. Clark. p. 195. Emil Schurer, the 14th of November 2000. History of the Jewish People in the Age of Jesus Christ, Volume 3, E. and Index. T. and T. Clark. ISBN 978-0-567-09373-8. Teddy G. S. 1962. Jeremiah, Letter of, in the Interpreter's Dictionary of the Bible, 4 vols, 2-822-23. Nashville, Abingdon. Torrey, C.C. 1945. The Apocryphal Literature, A Brief Introduction, 64-67. New Haven, Yale University Press. Theodore Christian Vriesen, A. S. van der Woud 2005. Ancient Israelite and Early Jewish Literature, 10th, Completely Revised Edition of De Literature van Oud Israel. Brill. ISBN 978-90-04-12427-1. John Mee Fuller 1893. A Dictionary of the Bible, Comprising Its Antiquities, Biography, Geography, and Natural History, J. Murray. p. 361. Topic external links Topic Wycliffe's translation known as the Prayer of Jeremy, Prayer of Jeremiah Text of the Epistle of Jeremy from CCEL Letter of Jeremiah in the KJV Baruch 6 Letter of Jeremiah in the New American Bible Jewish Encyclopedia, Epistle of Jeremiah The Catholic Encyclopedia, Baruch Encyclopedia Britannica, Epistle of Jeremy Introduction and Text of the Letter of Eremias from the New English Translation of the Septuagint 2012 Translation and Audio Version